Alright guys, in one of my other videos, this engine was on a log splitter. It's got the super short shaft on it. What we're going to do today is see if we can't get it to run and use the tank and carburetor off this 4 horsepower. Because I know it runs. It might be a little iffy because the gas is probably kind of old. But I know that engine has been run fairly recently. So we're going to take all this assembly off and put it on here. Um, need to find a muffler for it. Hopefully the governor linkage will hook up. But this carburetor and stuff that was on this engine was just trash. The tank was totally worthless, full of rust. <coughs> carburetor was all corroded the engine itself seems okay i do think i got a stuck valve though i need to bolt this down real quick before i go any further but i think we can get the valve unstuck and, and make it work all right so let's double check Exhaust valve is open and shut. Intake valve is not. Let's take this uh, breather off and see if I can possibly get it unstuck through there without pulling. So let's see if we can get that unstuck from where it's at. the one time I said that now and it won't work. Let's give that a little tap room. Yeah, I probably should have sprayed something down in there before I did that. Oh, well, maybe I don't need to. Let's do it now while there's a little seam in it. Try to spin it. Oh yeah. She's gonna run. Okay. So now that the valve's unstuck, <coughs> we can put the uh, you put the breather back in. We'll clean all this up. <coughs> I mean, look at that. That's pretty much a brand new piston. Head back on it. Pull that down. Voila. Exactly the specs. Found it.
going to run. Again, we got to take this governor off that I just put on, of course. We have to hook that. Let's see which one it needs to be in. I guess it was in the bottom one. Closest to the engine. There we go.
a problem. There's a bunch of crud in that sump in there. And it's pulling that right up in the main jet. So the diaphragm is probably okay. We're gonna clean all this out, clean that up, and put it back together and fix it. Flush the tank out, clean the carb out. Really need another gasket on it, but not gonna worry about that today. The other thing is I'm not 100% sure the crankshaft on this is long enough for that clutch for that plate compactor. pulled all this apart to change that diaphragm I just bought and it's wrong this is the diaphragm set I got and this is the one I need so what he sent me it's fine it's a rebuild kit for this fuel pump, which I need to get that rebuilt anyhow so I can get that 18 horse going. But I really wasn't intending on buying a pump for it right now because I don't really have a place to put that. <clears throat> so, with that being said, the next trip I make, I'll pick up the diaphragm, the correct one for this, because this one's definitely shot. You can see how it pushes and stays. It should be just as flat as the rest of this and it's not. Same thing with little weed eater carburetors. When that diaphragm gets to where you put, push it one way and it stays, it's no longer pumping. They'll run, they'll just work, won't run very good. I did get a brand new carb or muffler for it and uh, it fits. I don't have the jam nut, so I'm just gonna have to JB weld this into the block and uh, that should be fine. What do y'all think about the JB Weld? I'm just playing. I'm not going to JB Weld it. 
I'll just have to crank down on it, or I may find a conduit nut. I think it'll work on there also, just to make a jam nut to keep it from vibrating out. But anyways, that being said, guys, we're going to call that a video. As you can see outside here in just a second, it's getting really cool. It feels awesome out here and windy, and I think we're about to get rained on. I didn't think it was supposed to be here until 7 or 8 o'clock tonight. But apparently it's coming in a little earlier. Anyways, enough rambling. I will see y'all on the next one. Later.